Hi everyone, I'm Jessica. I'm 30 years old and I was cured in 2012. Um, I was 20 years old when I came in. Um, and my story starts back to my camp days when everyone was trying to use tampons and I completely tightened up and just told myself, you know, I'm uptight, but kind of deep down, I knew something was deeply wrong, but I knew that I couldn't really talk to anyone about it because everyone was using tampons just fine and having intercourse is a part of life. So early on as a kid, I kind of prepared myself to just be alone and it was really sad, but you know, I told myself, you know, if I can't even use a tampon, how can I be intimate with a man? Um, so for years uh, throughout the beginning of high school, I pushed so many men away, um, just kind of knowing that I could never get to a point in a relationship where I could be sexual or have a normal relationship. So I sabotaged every relationship that came my way. I, um, I developed a binge eating disorder and put on 50 pounds and, you know, kind of use that as like a cushion to just keep guys away. I went to go see so many specialists um, that told me, you know, you're uptight, just drink a glass of wine, just put your finger up there. Uh, you were definitely raped. I think you were raped in a previous life was one of the best ones that I actually heard. <laughs> um, just so many doctors that pretty much told me, I don't know what you have and you're just uptight and you're just gonna, you know, kind of have to figure that out on your own. So I was very angry at doctors for a while and kind of just gave up on myself. Um, the real breaking point for me was when I was studying abroad in Italy and uh, a guy really liked me that I liked back. And I was just a walking ball of anger. My parents came to visit me and luckily we have a close relationship and you know, they're like, you're 20 years old. Like, have you been intimate with a guy yet? Like, why have you not let this guy in? Um, and I just broke down crying and really opened up about how I was feeling and kind of everything I'd been going through that I never felt comfortable to talk to anybody about. Um, and my dad Googled all the symptoms and was like, this term vaginismus is coming up, like read me all the symptoms. I was bawling my eyes out. I'm like, I have that, I have that on Google. These women are actually on Long Island, which where I lived at the time, um, called them, made an appointment. They were able to get me in, not in the two week program, but because I lived on Long Island, they were able to fit me in over a two month period. I had an unpaid internship at the time. And I was like, I will, do anything to get in. Thank you for being so flexible with me. Um, I went in and when I spoke with them, they asked me if I was on any form of medication. Um, I was not at the time, you know, they informed me that I might not be able to get through my first session. Um, I obviously was terrified thinking that of course I would be the one person that didn't get through the treatment, even though, you know, they were assuring me of everything. I was completely guaranteed that I would be the one person that could not get cured. Um, the first session that I wasn't on medication, I did have a panic attack and was so down on myself, telling myself, I'm not, I'm going to be that one person that can't get through this. They were like, go into this support group. There are plenty of women that have gone through this exact same experience. They will tell you about everything and you need to let the medication kick in for the next couple of weeks. And when you come back, we, you will get through this. So that period, I was so down on myself as much as everyone was assuring me. I was like, I will not be able to do this. The encouraging comments were great, but I was still so unsure. And medication kicked in and I was able to get through it with flying colors. I couldn't believe how easy the treatment was. The anxiety was greater than the actual treatment itself. And they walked you through absolutely everything. They're, they both have such different characteristics that match so well to help you get through this period. Um, and I was a single woman at the time and I am still single. And as much as, you know, it's great to have a romantic uh, support system, my, my family and my friends were my support system through this time, along with the Facebook group. I don't think I could have gotten through it, you know, just hearing the other girls' experiences. Um, and Beth too, uh, with the mental piece, like after being cured as a single woman, you're kind of like, now what? Um, I don't have any experience. I, I don't really know where to start. And it's just good to talk to someone about 
the thoughts that you've been telling yourself for so many years, all the negative thinking, I'm a freak. I'm not like everybody else. Like, how am I going to be able to do this? Like that takes time to work through. But what was so great is she gave me assignments to work on just little things like go kiss a guy. Don't, don't make this like a huge big deal. Like this will all kind of come into play for you. And everyone was so great. And, um, I'm so blessed that I'm cured. And like Drea said, uh, I think the tampons too might be the best part about being treated. <laughs> uh, it, I don't know how I lived without that. And I enjoy sex now. And I know that I can go into any romantic relationship knowing that I don't have that hurdle to deal with and that I can live a normal life. And I'm very blessed. Thank you.